Hey everybody, hope you're having a great week. Susan has joined me. This is my wife, for those of you who don't know, but Hello. she's join, joining me this week. And uh, we're in this Christmas season and we are focused in on what's happening when we tell the story and why we celebrate. Obviously, let me just say real quick, this is not scripturally the time when Jesus was born. This is an, an adopted thing. We could just bust every <laughs> we ruined it for everyone. Merry Christmas. But I mean that that's what that's what's happening and that's what we do. So that's okay. Uh, it was probably closer to Rosh Hashanah just a few months ago in the start of the Jewish calendar year. It's probably when that star appeared for for them. So anyway, but that's that's fine. It's it's not a thing of that issue. Uh, the point it is, happens. that's right, <laughs> that's the point, it did happen. We're talking about hope today, mm -hmm. and we're talking about the whole idea, and we're going to, I, I want to go into the story of both the story of John the Baptist when he is born, and obviously when Mary, both Mary and Elizabeth find out about uh, this child they're bringing forth into the world, which is an awesome thing. So in Luke, the first chapter, uh, the story goes into Zechariah and Elizabeth. They're a couple. They're devout followers of God. They love God passionately. Zechariah is, is working in the temple. He's one of the temple workers, and he's there serving, and he has this encounter with an angel. Very powerful encounter. A older in age, too, though. Yes, they, they, they have tell. been unable to have children, and they're older in age or past the time of having kids. Mm -hmm. And uh, kind of like us right now. Yep. So there you go. Hey, so that's right. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so anyway, Zachariah has this encounter with, with the angel, and he comes and he tells them, tells him about this son that's coming to them. And of course, Zachariah doubts. He struggles with the news, which I think anyone would. Yeah. Uh, and obviously, miraculously, his wife, Elizabeth, becomes pregnant. Mm -hmm. uh, and But, you know, Zechariah, the angel, mutes him uh, for that whole, the, I guess, the whole nine months. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's it is a long time. <laughs> but a lot of time for him to build hope. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that had to be a sign, not only to those around him and, and everything that's going on there, but, you know. That, I've never thought of that. So when he was unable to speak, I wonder how long it took him to realize, oh, wow. I should have believed that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. That, that, that's was it a, instantaneously or was it over time? I never had Yeah. That. And, you know, and then does he go through the human emotions of anger or mm -hmm. frustration now that he can't talk? Sure. and all that's going on with that, and then having to resolve all of that. I mean, it's just yeah. like our walk of faith that we all have, mm -hmm. of all the emotions that we deal with. And that next part of the, the chapter of Luke, it goes directly into the encounter that Mary has mm -hmm. with the angel of the Lord. Yeah. And, and saying, you know, here's what's going to happen. Yeah. And obviously her not ever being with a man, I mean, that wasn't, as much of a miracle with Elizabeth as it was with Mary, as it yeah. was with Mary, because she had a yeah. husband, and you know, obviously, there was sexual activity going on right. there. So it's funny growing up hearing the story and this account in scripture. It's like I always had this certain idea of Mary's role in that, and it's kind of like the way I looked at it. It was just then it became this happy little family, you know, Mary, Joseph, and she has Jesus. And it wasn't until probably the first time I was expecting <laughs> and looking at Mary's role differently of like, wow, just because it's like you, I don't, I don't care how, what, how much of a, a brave person you are, or if your ideas yeah. around childbirth, I don't know that anybody doesn't have some kind of apprehension right. of what's going on. Yeah. With my body and just that whole process that you walk out even before the actual birth. Right. But then that just along, the natural. But you know that's that. coming. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I think everybody is just that crosses your mind of like, wow, the whole birthing process right. too, that whole time. So it's like her age for one. Right. She was probably a teenage girl. Yeah, her age for one. And then just the whole coming together with Joseph, you know what I'm saying, how it all played out. It's just totally different than my experience yes. of, of expecting. So, yeah, so that totally changed of like, I'm sure she felt 
very alone and frightened at times. Yeah. And just, yeah, everything that was going on just totally changed how I perceived that story. It just, you know, because you read the story and it's, you know, the verses are laid out and it just comes across all neat and tidy. And, and there was nothing yeah. neat and tidy about it. Yeah. You know, as miraculous as and exciting as the events were in Mary's life, at some point it hits you that she had to then walk out that miraculous supernatural event in her life. And yeah. the the same people, she had to live that out in front of the same people that saw her the day before the yeah. angel visited, you yeah. know? Yeah. Because we just read it as one big thing. And it's like, no, the angel visited her and then she's out in the town, you know, the little village the next day, you know, doing her normal activities right. and her whole world has changed. It talks about in Luke 1, when the angel came to Mary, he said, you are highly favored and you're blessed. And it's funny because now, I mean, that's such a hashtag blessed. Right. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> loves to say that, you know, I'm blessed. Highly you know. favored. Yes, all these things. Um, but yet being blessed means walking out some hard stuff. Yeah. You know, and so many times we want, we want that blessing and we, we want God to bless us and something miraculous and supernatural to happen in our life. But that also means the hard part of walking that out. Yeah. But being blessed means you are carrying the weight of walking out those promises. Yeah. And that's exactly what Mary was doing. She was called and chosen to be a carrier of hope. Yeah, that's that's good because that that is the burden of carrying hope. Mm -hmm. Of if we, if you want to well, the see, responsibility. The responsibility. And yeah, sometimes the word burden sounds negative, yeah. but it's not. Right. It's, it's that, but it's heavy. I know what you're. I mean, why are you using that word? Because and, it, it's but it's the necessity of doing that. Having hope means you're going to carry out that responsibility of whatever the promise mm -hmm. is of something, mm -hmm. and that's what's so powerful, you know, in the story. And, and what's so cool about it is, you know, obviously the story goes through and says that. Mary gets this word. She says, be it unto me. Mm -hmm. You know, so she had a choice in yeah. saying yes or no to it. And she says yes to it. And then the angel says, and your cousin. And so it's like, and I'm going to throw you a bone here, <laughs> you know, a, 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 a hope bone yeah. of go, go hang out with her. Mm -hmm. Cause she's going to be able to encourage you in yeah. this. And what a role that Elizabeth plays when she obviously travels out to where she is and you know the whole encounter when she's from afar off and she sees mary and the baby leaps yeah, with inside of, yeah the baby leaps inside you know because she's you know about six months ahead right. in this process already and the baby leaps inside of elizabeth and then she tells her you know mary how favored you are and the you're carrying the lord and, mm -hmm. and you know, God will, you know, at times bring people along our pathway. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we know them, sometimes we don't, but bring people along our pathway that will ignite and encourage that hope in us. Yeah. And, and, and that's, you know, that's what we're doing here in this video. Mm -hmm. We want to ignite and encourage hope in all of us yeah. that, so that we can walk out the faith that we trust in. And, and, and so think about that, the, the whole aspect when she saw... You know, Mary either knew uh, or was there, I guess, by the time she gave birth to John. And that's when, you know, they get to, hey, we're going to name the son. And they said, let's name him John. And all the other family members are like, you don't have anybody in the family named John, you know. <laughs> and you're breaking protocol here. And then finally, you know, Zachariah can speak. And he says, no, we're going to name him John. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Mary sees all that. of Like, I'm, I watched your miracle take yeah. place. Uh, now it builds more hope inside right. of me. And sometimes just hearing someone else's testimony of faith, of walking that out, mm -hmm. uh, that encourages us to keep, yeah. keep hope in our lives. And, and obviously we know the story, uh, but, but what we're focusing on this week is the hope they carried yeah. inside them. Not, mm -hmm. not just the babies. Yeah. Obviously they were carrying these children. John the Baptist who would pave the way for the Messiah mm -hmm. and then the Messiah. And um, that's powerful. Yeah. And and but it it was it was also like you were just saying, 
It was also all the, the natural stuff. Mm -hmm. This wasn't, oh yeah, angels tended to me yeah. this and entire she, nine and months. She's floating I around have, yeah, yeah, and I didn't have to do anything to She didn't have to have the awkward conversation correct. with Joseph or right. other people. <laughs> and Joseph about to abandon her yeah. and Joseph about to leave her, which would have been mm -hmm. rightfully his yeah. his rightful due. And obviously yeah. he has to have an encounter mm -hmm. with an angel to say, No, it's okay, you know, everything's yeah. going according to plan and yeah. don't don't be afraid to keep keep her as a wife. And so all that stuff, that's that's normal life. Yes. No, and I think we've talked about this so many times. I think it's so easy for us as believers when you read the Bible that as much as we, we can say things like this and talk about it and say they were normal people like us. Right. I mean, the scripture even tells us that. That's right. Still, when we read it, it's like we still have this disconnect and we still think that they were different. Yeah. And... So I, that's one thing, I, that's what I love about the story and love to be reminded about Mary. Yeah. That there was as much supernatural was upon this story, there was also the very practical, like you just said, that she had to walk out. And we can't forget that. Yeah. That she dealt with being judged by others, being yeah. talked about, yeah. feeling shame. I mean, she was a human being. I mean, <laughs> you know, but think human. about how many times she had to probably, did that really happen? Yeah. Was that really true? Yeah. yeah. Was that was that a dream I had? Was mm -hmm. that just you know? Am I making this up? Especially before she showed. Right. Oh yeah. You know. I mean, how many months? Oh yeah, because I can remember that. Yeah. Like, being so excited when I was right. pregnant, and you take the test. And you're like, but then am it's I like, really pregnant? Yeah, because your body nothing's changed for right. a little bit, and I remember yeah. that thinking, okay, wow, well, what if I what if I'm not right. really expecting? And I thought I was. That is the practicalness mm -hmm. of our faith. Yeah. And. You deal with the stuff. Mm -hmm. And Mary dealt with it. Joseph dealt with it. Elizabeth dealt with it. Obviously, yeah. Zachariah dealt with it. They all dealt with the practical. All the family members trying to interject what yeah, they thought. What they was, do, yeah. yeah, what they, how they should name. And and, and, and all, that's real stuff. That's, and I think you said this, but of how many times, because that's the other thing I thought of with thinking about Mary in this story, of how many times did she have to go back to that night or the yeah. night with the angel. Yes. And, be, and be reminded yeah. of what was said over her yeah. and how that's so encouraging for us and something for us to take note of in this walk and yeah. this faith journey of, I think we all have had these moments and experiences where God, we we know God has spoken something yeah. over us. He's spoken something over every Everyone. one of us, yeah. you know? Every one of us, and whether we realize it or not, right, he has. right, and then life happens, and we can feel all those things we just mentioned that Mary feels, yeah. and we have to go back and be reminded of what He says about us and what He has spoken over us, mm -hmm. and you know, Scripture tells us that the one that started the good work in us, yes, He's going to be faithful, faithful to complete it, and yes. that's the hope that we build our life on, that yeah. even when circumstances around us might try to tell us differently, yeah. we go back to that. Yeah. So listen, we just want to bless you with hope today mm -hmm. and uh, know that it is alive and well. Stir it up. Yeah. Let it be stirred within your spirit and be encouraged with that. And look at the resources that are in the, the mm -hmm. text and, and on Instagram and our stories and, and down I, below. And under this video, yeah, yes, in the description the video, will be listed yeah. some focus questions that um, you individually can go through in the next few days and with your family and then some different activities and things for your children too. Yeah. So I love you. Susan loves you too. <laughs> and we bless you with health yes. and healing, wisdom and knowledge, power and prosperity, and the gifts and the fruits of the Spirit of God to be evident and flowing in your life. Amen. Have a fantastic week full of hope. Yep. Love you guys.